Omega-3 fatty acids, also called omega-3 fatty acids or N-3 fatty acids, are polyunsaturated fatty acids (PUFAs). The fatty acids have two ends: the carboxylic acid (COOH) end, which is considered the beginning of the chain, thus alpha, and the methyl CH3 end, which is considered the tail of the chain, thus omega. One way in which a fatty acid is named is determined by the location of the first double bond, counted from the tail, that is, the omega, omega or the N end. Thus, in omega-3 fatty acids the first double bond is between the third and fourth carbon atoms from the tail end. However, the standard IUPAC chemical nomenclature system starts from the carboxyl end. The three types of omega-3 fatty acids involved in human physiology are alpha-linolenic acid found in plant oils, and icosapentaenoic acid and docosahexanoic acid both commonly found in marine oils. Marine algae and phytoplankton are primary sources of omega-3 fatty acids. Common sources of plant oils containing ala include walnut, edible seeds, clary sage seed oil, algal oil, flaxseed oil, sasha inchi oil, echium oil, and hemp oil, while sources of animal omega-3 fatty acids EPA and DHA include fish, fish oils, eggs from chickens fed EPA and DHA, squid oils, and krill oil. Dietary supplementation with omega-3 fatty acids does not appear to affect the risk of death, cancer or heart disease. Furthermore, fish oil supplement studies have failed to support claims of preventing heart attacks or strokes or any vascular disease outcomes. Omega-3 fatty acids are important for normal metabolism. Mammals are unable to synthesize omega-3 fatty acids, but can obtain the shorter chain omega-3 fatty acid ala, 18 carbons and 3 double bonds, through diet and use it to form the more important long chain omega-3 fatty acids, EPA, 20 carbons and 5 double bonds, and then from EPA, the most crucial, DHA, 22 carbons and 6 double bonds. The ability to make the longer chain omega-3 fatty acids from ala may be impaired in aging. In foods exposed to air, unsaturated fatty acids are vulnerable to oxidation and rancidity. <laughs> Health effects Supplementation does not appear to be associated with a lower risk of all-cause mortality. <laughs> Cancer. The evidence linking the consumption of marine omega-3 fats to a lower risk of cancer is poor. With the possible exception of breast cancer, there is insufficient evidence that supplementation with omega-3 fatty acids has an effect on different cancers. The effect of consumption on prostate cancer is not conclusive. There is a decreased risk with higher blood levels of DPA, but an increased risk of more aggressive prostate cancer was shown with higher blood levels of combined EPA and DHA. In people with advanced cancer and cachexia, omega-3 fatty acids supplements may be of benefit, improving appetite, weight, and quality of life. Cardiovascular disease Evidence in the population generally does not support a beneficial role for omega-3 fatty acid supplementation in preventing cardiovascular disease including myocardial infarction and sudden cardiac death or stroke. A 2018 meta-analysis found no support that daily intake of 1 gram of omega-3 fatty acid in individuals with a history of coronary heart disease prevents fatal coronary heart disease, non-fatal myocardial infarction or any other vascular event. However, omega-3 fatty acid supplementation greater than 1 gram daily for at least a year may be protective against cardiac death, sudden death, and myocardial infarction in people who have a history of cardiovascular disease. No protective effect against the development of stroke or all-cause mortality was seen in this population. Eating a diet high in fish that contain long-chain omega-3 fatty acids does appear to decrease the risk of stroke. Fish oil supplementation has not been shown to benefit revascularization or abnormal heart rhythms and has no effect on heart failure hospital admission rates. 
Furthermore, fish oil supplement studies have failed to support claims of preventing heart attacks or strokes. Evidence suggests that omega-3 fatty acids modestly lower blood pressure, systolic and diastolic, in people with hypertension and in people with normal blood pressure. Some evidence suggests that people with certain circulatory problems, such as varicose veins, may benefit from the consumption of EPA and DHA, which may stimulate blood circulation and increase the breakdown of fibrin, a protein involved in blood clotting and scar formation. Omega-3 fatty acids reduce blood triglyceride levels but do not significantly change the level of LDL cholesterol or HDL cholesterol in the blood. The American Heart Association position 2011 is that borderline elevated triglycerides, defined as 150 to 199 mg per deciliter, can be lowered by 0.5 to 1.0 g of EPA and DHA per day. High triglycerides 200 to 499 mg per deciliter benefit from 1 to 2 g per day, and greater than 500 mg per deciliter be treated under a physician's supervision with 2 to 4 g per day using a prescription prescription product, ALA does not confer the cardiovascular health benefits of EPA and DHAs. The effect of omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids on stroke is unclear, with a possible benefit in women. Inflammation A 2013 systematic review found tentative evidence of benefit for lowering inflammation levels in healthy adults and in people with one or more biomarkers of metabolic syndrome. Consumption of omega-3 fatty acids from marine sources lowers blood markers of inflammation such as C-reactive protein, interleukin-6, and TNF-alpha. For rheumatoid arthritis, one systematic review found consistent, but modest, evidence for the effect of marine N-3 PUFAs on symptoms such as joint swelling and pain, duration of morning stiffness, global assessments of pain and disease activity", as well as the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. The American College of Rheumatology has stated that there may be modest benefit from the use of fish oils, but that it may take months for effects to be seen, and cautions for possible gastrointestinal side effects and the possibility of the supplements containing mercury or vitamin A at toxic levels. The National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health has concluded that N-O dietary supplement has shown clear benefits for rheumatoid arthritis, but that there is preliminary evidence that fish oil may be beneficial, but needs further study. <laughs> <laughs> Developmental disabilities Although not supported by current scientific evidence as a primary treatment for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder ADHD, autism, and other developmental disabilities, omega-3 fatty acid supplements are being given to children with these conditions. One meta-analysis concluded that omega-3 fatty acid supplementation demonstrated a modest effect for improving ADHD symptoms. A Cochrane review of PUFA, not necessarily omega-3 supplementation found there is little evidence that PUFA supplementation provides any benefit for the symptoms of ADHD in children and adolescents, while a different review found insufficient evidence to draw any conclusion about the use of PUFAs for children with specific learning disorders. Another review concluded that the evidence is inconclusive for the use of omega-3 fatty acids in behavior and non-neurodegenerative neuropsychiatric disorders such as ADHD and depression. Fish oil has only a small benefit on the risk of premature birth. A 2015 meta-analysis of the effect of omega-3 supplementation during pregnancy did not demonstrate a decrease in the rate of preterm birth or improve outcomes in women with singleton pregnancies with no prior preterm births. A systematic review and meta-analysis published the same year reached the opposite conclusion, specifically, that omega-3 fatty acids were effective in preventing early and any preterm delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Mental health There is some evidence that omega-3 fatty acids are related to mental health, including that they may tentatively be useful as an add-on for the treatment of depression associated with bipolar disorder. 
Significant benefits due to EPA supplementation were only seen, however, when treating depressive symptoms and not manic symptoms suggesting a link between omega-3 and depressive mood. There is also preliminary evidence that EPA supplementation is helpful in cases of depression. The link between omega-3 and depression has been attributed to the fact that many of the products of the omega-3 synthesis pathway play key roles in regulating inflammation such as prostaglandin E3 which have been linked to depression. This link to inflammation regulation has been supported in both in vitro and in vivo studies as well as in meta-analysis studies. The exact mechanism in which omega-3 acts upon the inflammatory system is still controversial as it was commonly believed to have anti-inflammatory effects. There is, however, significant difficulty in interpreting the literature due to participant recall and systematic differences in diets. There is also controversy as to the efficacy of omega-3, with many meta-analysis papers finding heterogeneity among results which can be explained mostly by publication bias. A significant correlation between shorter treatment trials was associated with increased omega-3 efficacy for treating depressed symptoms further implicating bias in publication. A study in 2013, Stafford, Jackson, Mayo Wilson, Morrison, Kendall, stated the following in its conclusion, although evidence of benefits for any specific intervention is not conclusive, these findings suggest that it might be possible to delay or prevent transition to psychosis. Further research should be undertaken to establish conclusively the potential for benefit of psychological interventions in the treatment of people at high risk of psychosis. Backquote. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cognitive aging. Epidemiological studies are inconclusive about an effect of omega-3 fatty acids on the mechanisms of Alzheimer's disease. There is preliminary evidence of effect on mild cognitive problems, but none supporting an effect in healthy people or those with dementia. <laughs> Brain and visual functions Brain function and vision rely on dietary intake of DHA to support a broad range of cell membrane properties, particularly in gray matter, which is rich in membranes. A major structural component of the mammalian brain, DHA is the most abundant omega-3 fatty acid in the brain. It is under study as a candidate essential nutrient with roles in neurodevelopment, cognition, and neurodegenerative disorders. Atopic diseases Results of studies investigating the role of LCPUFA supplementation and LCPUFA status in the prevention and therapy of atopic diseases allergic rhinoconjunctivitis, atopic dermatitis and allergic asthma are controversial, therefore, at the present stage of our knowledge as of 2013, we cannot state either that the nutritional intake of N-3 fatty acids has a clear preventive or therapeutic role, or that the intake of N6 fatty acids has a promoting role in context of atopic diseases. Topic. Risk of deficiency People with PKU often have low intake of omega-3 fatty acids, because nutrients rich in omega-3 fatty acids are excluded from their diet due to high protein content. Topic. Asthma As of 2015, there was no evidence that taking omega-3 supplements can prevent asthma attacks in children. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chemistry. An omega-3 fatty acid is a fatty acid with multiple double bonds, where the first double bond is between the third and fourth carbon atoms from the end of the carbon atom chain. Short chain. Omega-3 fatty acids have a chain of 18 carbon atoms or less, while long chain omega-3 fatty acids have a chain of 20 or more. Three omega-3 fatty acids are important in human physiology: alpha-linolenic acid 18 to 3, N3, ala, icosapentaenoic acid 20 to 5, N3, EPA, and docosahexaenoic acid 22 to 6, N3, DHA. 
These three polyunsaturates have either three, five, or six double bonds in a carbon chain of 18, 20, or 22 carbon atoms, respectively. As with most naturally produced fatty acids, all double bonds are in the cis configuration, in other words, the two hydrogen atoms are on the same side of the double bond, and the double bonds are interrupted by methylene bridges CH2, so that there are two single bonds between each pair of adjacent double bonds. List of omega-3 fatty acids This table lists several different names for the most common omega-3 fatty acids found in nature. Forms Omega-3 fatty acids occur naturally in two forms, triglycerides and phospholipids. In the triglycerides, they, together with other fatty acids, are bonded to glycerol. Three fatty acids are attached to glycerol. Phospholipid omega-3 is composed of two fatty acids attached to a phosphate group via glycerol. The triglycerides can be converted to the free fatty acid or to methyl or ethyl esters, and the individual esters of omega-3 fatty acids are available. Biochemistry Transporters DHA in the form of lysophosphatidylcholine is transported into the brain by a membrane transport protein, MFSD2A, which is exclusively expressed in the endothelium of the blood-brain barrier. Mechanism of action The essential fatty acids were given their name when researchers found that they are essential to normal growth in young children and animals. The omega-3 fatty acid DHA, also known as docosahexanoic acid, is found in high abundance in the human brain. It is produced by a desaturation process, but humans lack the desaturase enzyme, which acts to insert double bonds at the omega-6 and omega-3 position. Therefore, the omega-6 and omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids cannot be synthesized, are appropriately called essential fatty acids, and must be obtained from the diet. In 1964, it was discovered that enzymes found in sheep tissues convert omega-6 arachidonic acid into the inflammatory agent, prostaglandin E2, which is involved in the immune response of traumatized and infected tissues. By 1979, eicosanoids were further identified, including thromboxanes, prostacyclins, and leukotrienes. The eicosanoids typically have a short period of activity in the body, starting with synthesis from fatty acids and ending with metabolism by enzymes. If the rate of synthesis exceeds the rate of metabolism, the excess eicosanoids may have deleterious effects. Researchers found that certain omega-3 fatty acids are also converted into eicosanoids and docosanoids, but at a slower rate. If both omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids are present, they will compete to be transformed, so the ratio of long-chain omega-3, omega-6 fatty acids directly affects the type of eicosanoids that are produced. Interconversion Topic: <inaudible> Conversion efficiency of ALA to EPA and DHA Humans can convert short-chain omega-3 fatty acids to long-chain forms EPA, DHA with an efficiency below 5%. The omega-3 conversion efficiency is greater in women than in men, but less studied. Higher ALA and DHA values found in plasma phospholipids of women may be due to the higher activity of desaturases, especially that of delta-6 desaturase. These conversions occur competitively with omega-6 fatty acids, which are essential closely related chemical analogues that are derived from linoleic acid. They both utilize the same desaturase and elongase proteins in order to synthesize inflammatory regulatory proteins. The products of both pathways are vital for growth making a balanced diet of omega-3 and omega-6 important to an individual's health. 
A balanced intake ratio of 1 to 1 was believed to be ideal in order for proteins to be able to synthesize both pathways sufficiently, but this has been controversial as of recent research. The conversion of ALA to EPA and further to DHA in humans has been reported to be limited, but varies with individuals. Women have higher ALA to DHA conversion efficiency than men, which is presumed to be due to the lower rate of use of dietary ALA for beta oxidation. One preliminary study showed that EPA can be increased by lowering the amount of dietary linoleic acid, and DHA can be increased by elevating intake of dietary ALA. <laughs> omega-6 to omega-3 ratio Human diet has changed rapidly in recent centuries resulting in a reported increased diet of omega-6 in comparison to omega-3. The rapid evolution of human diet away from a 1 to 1 omega-3 and omega-6 ratio, such as during the Neolithic agricultural revolution, has presumably been too fast for humans to have adapted to biological profiles adept at balancing omega-3 and omega-6 ratios of 1 to 1. This is commonly believed to be the reason why modern diets are correlated with many inflammatory disorders. While omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids may be beneficial in preventing heart disease in humans, the level of omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids and therefore the ratio does not matter. Both omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids are essential. Humans must consume them in their diet. Omega-6 and omega-3 18 carbon polyunsaturated fatty acids compete for the same metabolic enzymes, thus the omega-6, omega-3 ratio of ingested fatty acids has significant influence on the ratio and rate of production of eicosanoids, a group of hormones intimately involved in the body's inflammatory and homeostatic processes, which include the prostaglandins, leukotrienes, and thromboxanes, among others. Altering this ratio can change the body's metabolic and inflammatory state. In general, grass-fed animals accumulate more omega-3 than do grain-fed animals, which accumulate relatively more omega-6. Metabolites of omega-6 are more inflammatory especially arachidonic acid than those of omega-3. This necessitates that omega-6 and omega-3 be consumed in a balanced proportion. Healthy ratios of omega-6, omega-3, according to some authors, range from 1 to 1 to 1 to 4. Other authors believe that a ratio of 4 to 1, 4 times as much omega-6 as omega-3, is already healthy. Studies suggest the evolutionary human diet, rich in game animals, seafood, and other sources of omega-3, may have provided such a ratio. Typical Western diets provide ratios of between 10 to 1 and 30 to 1, i.e., dramatically higher levels of omega-6 than omega-3. The ratios of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids in some common vegetable oils are canola 2 to 1, hemp 2 minus 3 to 1, soybean 7 to 1, olive 3 minus 13 to 1, sunflower no omega-3, flax 1 to 3, cottonseed almost no omega-3, peanut no omega-3, grapeseed oil almost no omega-3, and corn oil 46 to 1. History Although omega-3 fatty acids have been known as essential to normal growth and health since the 1930s, awareness of their health benefits has dramatically increased since the 1980s. On September 8, 2004, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration gave qualified health claim status to EPA and DHA omega-3 fatty acids, stating Supportive but not conclusive research shows that consumption of EPA and DHA omega fatty acids may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. This updated and modified their health risk advice letter of 2001. See below. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency has recognized the importance of DHA omega-3 and permits the following claim for DHA. DHA, an omega-3 fatty acid, supports the normal physical development of the brain, eyes and nerves primarily in children under two years of age. Historically, whole food diets contain sufficient amounts of omega-3, but because omega-3 is readily oxidized, the trend to shelf-stable, processed foods has led to a deficiency in omega-3 in manufactured foods.
Topic: Dietary sources. Topic: Dietary recommendations. In the United States, the Institute of Medicine publishes a system of dietary reference intakes, which includes recommended dietary allowances (RDAs) for individual nutrients and acceptable macronutrient distribution ranges (AMDRs) for certain groups of nutrients, such as fats. When there is insufficient evidence to determine an RDA, the institute may publish an adequate intake (AI) instead, which has a similar meaning but is less certain. The AI for alpha-linolenic acid is 1.6 grams per day for men and 1.1 grams per day for women, while the AMDR is 0.6% to 1.2% of total energy. Because the physiological potency of EPA and DHA is much greater than that of ALA, it is not possible to estimate 1 AMDR for all omega-3 fatty acids. Approximately 10% of the AMDR can be consumed as EPA and or DHA. The Institute of Medicine has not established a RDA or AI for EPA, DHA or the combination, so there is no daily value DVs are derived from RDAs, no labeling of foods or supplements as providing a DV percentage of these fatty acids per serving, and no labeling of food or supplement as an excellent source, or high in. As for safety, there was insufficient evidence as of 2005 to set an upper tolerable limit for omega-3 fatty acids, although the FDA has advised that adults can safely consume up to a total of 3 grams per day of combined DHA and EPA, with no more than 2 grams from dietary supplements. The American Heart Association (AHA) has made recommendations for EPA and DHA due to their cardiovascular benefits. Individuals with no history of coronary heart disease or myocardial infarction should consume oily fish two times per week, and treatment is reasonable for those having been diagnosed with coronary heart disease. For the latter the AHA does not recommend a specific amount of EPA plus DHA, although it notes that most trials were at or close to 1,000 mg per day. The benefit appears to be on the order of a 9% decrease in relative risk. The European Food Safety Authority EFSA approved a claim. EPA and DHA contributes to the normal function of the heart. For products that contain at least 250 mg EPA plus DHA. The report did not address the issue of people with pre-existing heart disease. The World Health Organization recommends regular fish consumption, 1 to 2 servings per week, equivalent to 200 to 500 mg per day EPA plus DHA as protective against coronary heart disease and ischemic stroke. Topic. Contamination Heavy metal poisoning by the body's accumulation of traces of heavy metals, in particular mercury, lead, nickel, arsenic, and cadmium, is a possible risk from consuming fish oil supplements. Also, other contaminants PCBs, furans, dioxins, and PBDEs might be found, especially in less refined fish oil supplements. However, heavy metal toxicity from consuming fish oil supplements is highly unlikely, because heavy metals selectively bind with protein in the fish flesh rather than accumulate in the oil. An independent test in 2005 of 44 fish oils on the U.S. market found all of the products passed safety standards for potential contaminants. Throughout their history, the Council for Responsible Nutrition and the World Health Organization have published acceptability standards regarding contaminants in fish oil. The most stringent current standard is the International Fish Oils Standard. Fish oils that are molecularly distilled under vacuum typically make this highest grade. Levels of contaminants are stated in parts per billion per trillion. Topic: <laughs> Fish. The most widely available dietary source of EPA and DHA is oily fish, such as salmon, herring, mackerel, anchovies, menhaden, and sardines. Oils from these fish have a profile of around seven times as much omega-3 as omega-6. Other oily fish, such as tuna, also contain N3 in somewhat lesser amounts. Consumers of oily fish should be aware of the potential presence of heavy metals and fat-soluble pollutants like PCBs and dioxins, which are known to accumulate up the food chain. 
After extensive review, researchers from Harvard's School of Public Health in the Journal of the American Medical Association 2006 reported that the benefits of fish intake generally far outweigh the potential risks. Although fish are a dietary source of omega-3 fatty acids, fish do not synthesize them, they obtain them from the algae, microalgae in particular, or plankton in their diets. In the case of farmed fish, omega-3 fatty acids is provided by fish oil. In 2009, 81% of the global fish oil production is used by aquaculture. Topic: <laughs> Fish oil. Marine and freshwater fish oil vary in content of arachidonic acid, EPA and DHA. They also differ in their effects on organ lipids. Not all forms of fish oil may be equally digestible. Of four studies that compare bioavailability of the glycerol ester form of fish oil versus the ethyl ester form, two have concluded the natural glycerol ester form is better, and the other two studies did not find a significant difference. No studies have shown the ethyl ester form to be superior, although it is cheaper to manufacture. Topic: <inaudible> Krill. Krill oil is a source of omega-3 fatty acids. The effect of krill oil at a lower dose of EPA plus DHA, 62.8%, was demonstrated to be similar to that of fish oil on blood lipid levels and markers of inflammation in healthy humans. While not an endangered species, krill are a mainstay of the diets of many ocean-based species including whales, causing environmental and scientific concerns about their sustainability. Topic: <laughs> Plant sources. Table 1. Ala content is the percentage of the seed oil. Table 2. Ala content is the percentage of the whole food. Flaxseed or linseed Linum and its oil are perhaps the most widely available botanical source of the omega-3 fatty acid ala. Flaxseed oil consists of approximately 55% ala, which makes it six times richer than most fish oils in omega-3 fatty acids. A portion of this is converted by the body to EPA and DHA, though the actual converted percentage may differ between men and women. In 2013, Rothamsted Research in the UK reported they had developed a genetically modified form of the plant Camelina that produced EPA and DHA. Oil from the seeds of this plant contained on average 11% EPA and 8% DHA in one development and 24% EPA in another. Topic. Eggs Eggs produced by hens fed a diet of greens and insects contain higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids than those produced by chickens fed corn or soybeans. In addition to feeding chickens insects and greens, fish oils may be added to their diets to increase the omega-3 fatty acid concentrations in eggs. The addition of flax and canola seeds to the diets of chickens, both good sources of alpha-linolenic acid, increases the omega-3 content of the eggs, predominantly DHA. The addition of green algae or seaweed to the diets boosts the content of DHA and EPA, which are the forms of omega-3 approved by the FDA for medical claims. A common consumer complaint is, "...omega-3 eggs can sometimes have a fishy taste if the hens are fed marine oils." <laughs> Meat Omega-3 fatty acids are formed in the chloroplasts of green leaves and algae. While seaweeds and algae are the source of omega-3 fatty acids present in fish, grass is the source of omega-3 fatty acids present in grass-fed animals. When cattle are taken off omega-3 fatty acid rich grass and shipped to a feedlot to be fattened on omega-3 fatty acid deficient grain, they begin losing their store of this beneficial fat. Each day that an animal spends in the feedlot, the amount of omega-3 fatty acids in its meat is diminished. The omega-6, omega-3 ratio of grass-fed beef is about 2 to 1, making it a more useful source of omega-3 than grain-fed beef, which usually has a ratio of 4 to 1. In a 2009 joint study by the USDA and researchers at Clemson University in South Carolina, grass-fed beef was compared with grain-finished beef. 
The researchers found that grass-finished beef is higher in moisture content, 42.5% lower total lipid content, 54% lower in total fatty acids, 54% higher in beta-carotene, 288% higher in vitamin E alpha tocopherol, higher in the B vitamins thiamine and riboflavin, higher in the minerals calcium, magnesium, and potassium, 193% higher in total omega-3s, 117% higher in CLA cis trans-11 11-octadacenoic acid, a cogugated linoleic acid, which is a potential cancer fighter, 90% higher in vaccinic acid which can be transformed into CLA, lower in the saturated fats linked with heart disease, and has a healthier ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids 1.65 versus 4.84. Protein and cholesterol content were equal. In most countries, commercially available lamb is typically grass fed, and thus higher in omega 3 than other grain fed or grain finished meat sources. In the United States, lamb is often finished, i.e., fattened before slaughter with grain, resulting in lower omega-3. The omega-3 content of chicken meat may be enhanced by increasing the animal's dietary intake of grains high in omega-3, such as flax, chia, and canola. Kangaroo meat is also a source of omega-3, with fillet and steak containing 74 mg per 100 grams of raw meat. Seal oil Seal oil is a source of EPA, DPA, and DHA. According to Health Canada, it helps to support the development of the brain, eyes, and nerves in children up to 12 years of age. Like all seal products, it is not allowed to be imported into the European Union. Other sources A recent trend has been to fortify food with omega-3 fatty acid supplements. Global food companies have launched omega-3 fatty acid fortified bread, mayonnaise, pizza, yogurt, orange juice, children's pasta, milk, eggs, popcorn, confections, and infant formula. The microalgae Cryptocodinium cani and Schizochytrium are rich sources of DHA but not EPA, and can be produced commercially in bioreactors. Oil from brown algae kelp is a source of EPA. The alga nanochloripsis also has high levels of EPA. In 2006 the Journal of Dairy Science published a study which found that butter made from the milk of grass-fed cows contains substantially more alpha-linolenic acid than butter made from the milk of cows that have limited access to pasture. 